On behalf of tvlesson.com, my name is Dr. Daniel Levin. I'm a board-certified OBGYN. In this clip, let's review the female anatomy just as an overview. And this is a female pelvis model showing the relationship between the urinary bladder with the urethra, the vagina, the cervix, the uterus, and the rectum. The cul-de-sac is the lowest part in the female anatomy. On the other side, one can see the ovaries with the fallopian tube and the round ligament connecting on top. By looking in this anatomy, one can see how by increasing the size of the uterus, for example, a fibroids or benign muscle tumor that grow from the uterus can impact bladder and rectum. Pressure on the bladder would cause or could cause incontinence. Pressure on the rectum could cause constipation or change in bowel habits. Let's go back to the vagina. And as one can see very nicely from this model, it is actually a potential space ending with the cervix. This is exactly the part that the yearly pap smear is uh, sampled and ruled out for cervical cancer. Nowadays, especially when the guidelines regarding screening are changing so dramatically, it is still very important to understand that a yearly woman's health exam is important. It doesn't matter if a pap smear or a breast exam needs to be done every year. A yearly exam, a yearly follow-up with your OBGYN is a very important and crucial step for your own health. On behalf of tvlesson.com, thank you for watching.